What's going on? We just got to the Hyatt in Seattle. We're doing a big show for Halloween. Let me give you a rundown of like a full corporate production setup. Essentially, we're gonna be doing all the sound, we're gonna be doing the lighting, we're gonna be doing the DJs tonight, and then we're also gonna be bringing in a big video wall that we're uh, putting behind us. That should be here in about a couple hours. So I'm gonna run down a typical setup, how we get everything organized, how we streamline the process. So follow me and I'll show you what we're working on. So for sound, we're gonna be using these uh, JBL tops. We're gonna have four of the line array. We're gonna put two on this side, two on that side. We have a dual 18 that we're gonna put on this side. Um, over here, we have some QSCs that we're gonna have that center fill. And then we're gonna put another stack of dual 18s on the other side. We're gonna be running a couple different truss systems. We got about four or five different moving heads. In here, we got our Chave moving heads. We're gonna be running all DMX. We gotta go uh, power con, and then we always ring this to make sure that it's like stays together. We got some more trussing that we're gonna do some totems here. This setup, we're, for our video wall, we're gonna be doing video DJ tonight, and then that way we can run everything into our video wall. <laughs> Boom. All right, so we're gonna be running these JBL Dual 18s. And then what we're going to be running is these line arrays. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to be running two of these on each side. We're going to put these on a gravity stand behind our sub, probably put them up about 10 feet in the air. Uh, we'll check on the room to see what the size is and how it sounds and where the dead zones are and stuff like that. That's why we decided to put the subs in the middle. So that way we can fill the void that's gonna be in the middle, but it'll be interesting sound checking in here with nobody in here because it's an empty room. It's getting a lot of uh, definitely, uh, you can hear the claps in here real well. But once we get everybody in here, should sounds pretty good. We're expecting anywhere between seven to 1500 people tonight. So we're getting down there. Last, we have some more power adapter EC on cords. Um, just like the computer cords. And we just have all different sizes for here, just as extras. Over here, we have uh, all our power strips and short power cords. And we also have these, these voltage meters. And what this allows us to do is when we got our system turned up, we can see how much power we're actually pulling. And we really wanna make sure that we're not blowing fuses. Obviously, when we get in here, we're gonna turn it up loud. We're gonna get everything going, probably more than we're gonna be using it for the show. And this will give us an idea of how much power. So not guaranteed, but at least we can try not to um, blow a circuit tonight. And we can see how much power we're actually drawing. My secret? Frickin' label maker. It is the best thing to bring with you. you. You know, you gotta see where everything is. Label the bins so that way, cause all these bins kinda look the same. So, and this one, this is what we have our 25 foot power cord. So my guys know if they grab a green cord, they know that it's a 25 foot power cord. So we got three ways and just different runs here. And it just keeps my guys organized. Same thing here, except for this is all 50 foot XLR cords. So we have ones that are just XLR by itself. And then we have ones that have power connected to it. So these ones are a silver or a gray one. So when I tell my team, hey, go grab me a silver cord, they know what to grab. And it just keeps everything nice and organized. Uh, from there, we have our 25 foot case of XLR cords. Uh, we're gonna use this for our DMX lighting and then also all our speakers that we're gonna be running. Me personally, I put all my labels on all my bins. Most of the lights we're gonna be running are gonna be using PowerCon. That's our PowerCon bin for all the JB speakers. We pretty much pre-wire everything so that way when we go set everything up, it's just plug and play and we're not wasting a lot of time on production day. Wood shims. What the heck do we have wood shims here? We have a DJ booth and you can see, little pro tip, those stages, they never quite line up. 
So on the back side, we shim up our boost so that way it's nice and tight. This here, depending on how we're going to be running our speaker setup, um, these are digital snakes. And what we use is this can plug in the back of the speaker. And then we're gonna run this as like an ethernet adapter. Um, and that way we can have either long runs or short runs to our speakers. So instead of running tons of XLR cords, we can plug these in and then this will be on one end. And then this will go into our podium. So instead of running long runs or you know, three or four different um, XLR cords, we can run them all into the snake because essentially our speaker runs are gonna be on different sides. So we're gonna have one that are over there, our subs are gonna be in the middle. And then we also have some that are over there. So depending on where we put them, you know, we have just four. We also have, when we need to, these longer runs that have 10 inputs and outputs. So it just depends on where we're running our speakers. We have different options to make it streamlined. My job is to make this go as smooth as possible because there's always something that happens uh, that throws us off. So developing these systems, uh, keep it really nice. And that way all my guys know where everything is. HDMI cords, SDI cords. This is all for our video stuff. Um, let me show you what we got here. Uh, so what we're running here is we have our moving wash lights here. This is going to be our up lights. I think for this event, we're going to be running about 40 wireless lights. We'll probably go around the room and around the sides. Here's our up lights. Get you to take a look at this. So essentially the way that we are going to have these up lights. So we have a master light here and it's going to control all these. I haven't decided if we're going to run this off the wolf mix, which is what's going to control our DMX lighting but we might just run it off this and just put it to a sound activation mode just because there's so much stuff that's going on tonight. And then my lighting tech can work on all the moving heads that we have. These are actually video tube lights that we're gonna be running tonight. And these are super bright. Um, we can do pixel mapping on them. There's all different kinds of things that we can do with these. So you can see, so these are nice bright video lights. We're gonna have them do a whole bunch of different stuff. It's gonna look really good. So these are really cool. These are just simple like DJ lights, so wash effects, but we're gonna put these in a column array on a stand, probably put them on the end of the stage, and then we're gonna DMX together. These things are super bright, super bright. Highly recommend them, very underrated for what they can do for a big, big show. So there's a custom case that we had built for our podium. And so this is gonna be our DJ controller. This could be a nice sleek podium look that we're gonna have. Uh, so we're going kind of for an all white classic theme tonight. Um, so this is where we're gonna be DJing on. There's a stand that goes on this. And then all our mixers and everything is gonna be ran in here and run off a uh, iPad. And that back table over there is gonna be our video and our sound. So I'll show you what we got here. So this is our live stream setup. Essentially what we're going to do is we're going to be using an A10 Mini. We're going to bring in all our different video feeds, our graphics, our music videos. We're going to be able to view this on the screen and switch to the different things depending on what we want. Uh, the promoter sent us some graphics, so we want to be able to run graphics on here. And this is the live stream setup. So this is one of the kits that we use here. Can never have enough adapters, so all the different adapters. HDMI, SDI, batteries, everything that we can need. We got another bin over there, but this is one of the adapter kits. Makes the process super easy because you always have that one adapter that you don't have. Inside here is the other live stream adapter. So we have all kinds of connectors, anything that throws up that we need to, any problems, adapters, anything, we got a solution here. So this is where our tech table is going to be. And this right here is our brand new Wolf Mix. And what this is, is this is gonna control our lighting and it's gonna be a standalone program. So our lighting tech can be over here running a light show and they can see everything with our video show as it's going on. And then for their trussing, here is all our trussing parts. I like to put together a kit, organize so everything is here that we need, you know, cutters, more zip ties, uh, couplers when we need them, just all the different pieces we can go to here. 
And so that's the setup for tonight. This is kind of like prep for New Year's, but this is, even though it's a Halloween show, this is typical uh, corporate event that we need to do some form of video show. They want to do some video graphics and have a video DJ. This is the sound and package that we put together for this client. This is how it went tonight. So we just finished our event. Um, it was a Halloween event, but it's more like a corporate event, but we still threw a little bit of EDM, a little bit of hip hop, um, kind of mix it up a little bit, a little bit different of a vibe. As you can see, here's the final setup. We had our video wall, our white totem booth. We had our moving lights over here. We had our wash lights, and then we had our moving heads around the room. And we got to pack it all up. Um, probably take about three hours to get everything done. Um, sound for this room was really, really good when it filled up in here. It sounded really, really good. Um, we had our video station over there, so we were switching between graphics, music videos, and you can see now we got their branding up above. So tear it all down, and next we're going to get ready for New Year's.